and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Go. In today's adventure, we are starting at Willows Park, which is out in Royal Palm. And we are here because if we go ahead and spin around, there is a Suicune raid. Now, it has been about a week since our last upload, and uh, there's been some changes to Pokemon Go. And that is, there are new raid bosses. Now, th they are kind of controversial. Uh, some of the new ones are very cool, like the new level 1 raid bosses. Charmeleon, Wartortle, and Ivysaur. I've caught an Ivysaur and a Wartortle. I am still on the look for a Charmeleon. And then there's the more controversial ones, which are the 2, 3, and 4. Uh, twos and threes mostly are soloable, which are kind of which is kind of nice. You can go out and get items and grind. John's with us again today. Hello. Happy Veterans Day. Yes, it's Veterans Day also. Thank you for reminding me. And uh, yes, thank you to all you veterans out there. And uh, today, hopefully, we'll be catching a Suicune and uh, some other raids and. Uh, me and John both like the new raid bosses. Like them a lot. Because you can sell them and they're rare, it's hard to catch in the wild. And you can evolve them because they're already like the middle evolution. Yep. It's great. And then even the other ones, the level uh, 3 and level 4, which are a little more controversial because people don't like them, uh, such as Victory Bell, Nidoqueen, and Nidoking being level 4 raids. But they are kind of easier to do, especially with smaller raid groups, which was a problem for some uh, rural players who couldn't get numbers to do a T-Tar or to do a Snorlax or Lapras, etc. So these are good ways to get a lot of good items from easier Pokemon, because they're still level 4 raids. Now, we are on the way to Suicune, and then after that we'll be going around today, doing raids, doing some gyms, uh, maybe some nests, maybe, not sure yet, and uh, we'll keep you posted on any updates. Alright, so as you could tell by that montage before this, we have been going through raids, doing a bunch of the new raids, Charmeleons, Magnetons, Marowaks, but as you may or may not be able to tell, John has me walking in the rain again, don't you, John? Yes. He has me walking in the rain again. What is this two weeks in a row or did we take a break off? We took a break off. We took one we took one like break off and now we're back in the rain catching Pokemon. And as you can see, still no umbrella. This last time the umbrella, rest in peace. Yeah, no umbrella. So, uh, yay, getting 
getting very wet. Hopefully, it stays like this or it dries up. There's a sneezel right here too. Right? Yeah, okay, there's a sneezel. We gotta catch a sneezel. Because this is a sneezel nest. It is a sneezel nest. It's probably gonna change probably sometime next week though. Well, my screen's so, getting wet so I can't catch it. Yeah, that, there's that too. So, yay, Pokemon go in the rain. Alright, so beyond just the fact that there's new raid bosses, some other interesting news from Niantic is that they have officially released the fact that they are working on essentially Harry Potter Go. Um, I forget what it's actually called, but it is going to be the newest Niantic game. They've put out other games before this. They had um, Ingress before Pokemon Go. And um, hopefully they have put out on Twitter that they are still um, going to be working just as hard. I think one place said they're doubling down on their efforts for Pokemon Go as well. So, uh, with the usage of Harry Potter Go, essentially, uh, hopefully they'll also work out maybe some new things for Pokemon, see how that's working out, especially with the release of Draconius Go, uh, which is kind of a new competitor for Pokemon Go. Um, but they have PvP, they have quests, these are some things that a lot of Pokemon Go players who also use Draconius Go say these are good assets and should be implemented into the game. So hopefully po the creators of Pokemon Go Niantic look at games like Draconius Go and see possibly some new things to add to the game. Uh, beyond that, with Harry Potter Go coming out soon, probably not for another year or so, uh, they might still work out uh, some new things for Pokemon Go, which mainly are PvP and trading. The only two things left in the original trailer that we still don't have. Also, a good tracking system, because many players are still using maps and other such third-party kind of sites to kind of see where to get Pokemon, because beyond Pokestops, you're kind of forced to just wander about uh, looking for random Pokemon in the wild. Uh, so, tracking system, PvP, and trading are still things that Niantic needs to work on with Pokemon Go, uh, in addition to their new release of Harry Potter Go. Alright, so, John, what did you just do? I just tried to solo a cloister, and I failed. So I learned he is very hard, so power up your electric Pokemon. There we go. Wise words from someone who just experienced it. I was unable to get into the raid because there was, what, like three seconds when we pulled up? Yep. And I was unable to get into it, I aired out, etc. Otherwise we would have been able to take it down, no problem. But, Constellation Prize, we got Bailey. And we got yep. two Instinct Gyms, which I'll show you, you eventually. There we go. Two Instinct Gyms. So, not all was lost. Cloister was lost. Yes. But, we Next got the gyms. And, uh, yeah, that's basically the update as of now. Okay, guys, 100%, there's no shot you can see me now, because I can't even see me now. What is this not? John, where do you take me on these trips? Right now, there's, like, zero, like literally only audio for this. There's z zero. Zero ability to see. But we do have... This interesting little gym of Shuckle and Squirtle. And, uh, yeah, now I, I literally cannot see the path in front of me right now. So, there's that. So you, right ahead? I can't even see ahead. The, the little gazebo thing? Yes. Okay. Grandma's house. Oh, yay. All right. Off to Grandma's house we go, apparently. Okay. More nighttime adventures with John. I don't. I. You see that? You see this, people? You see this darkness that we're approaching? We're entering the dark. That's what we're gonna be in. We're gonna okay. Take over this gym. Yeah, there's a gym here, apparently, somewhere in this darkness. Tell about the Eevee we just caught. Yeah, we just caught a 788 Eevee. We both evolved it at the okay. same time. And it, both of our Jolteon, or both of them came out as Jolteons. Here's mine. I called it Blackout because uh, I can't see anything. 
You see, yeah, and neither can any of you right now because it's dark as heck. Here's a better look at blackout. And uh, we're going to be, we're in a growlith nest by the way. And uh, oh my goodness, I cannot, I'm off the trail. I'm off the trail. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're trying to find this gym. I've lost John. I cannot see John. <laughs> I literally cannot see John right now. Um, but yeah, we're we're heading towards a gym right now somewhere in this darkness. Yeah, it, we went in pretty deep last time. And uh, this is where uh, we caught a ente at some point when I was talking about my predictions for Halloween. And before... Yeah, now, now it's actually haunted. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting closer to the gym, and it is still dark as all get out. And uh, I, I'm off the trail for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I cannot see anything right now. I don't know if you can. Are we close enough? I am. <laughs> okay, we're close enough. We'll, we'll battle this gym. There, oh, that should be easy. Wait, wait so that we can... T wait for me to get in. No, I want to battle this fast. Let me get in. Of course there's a houndoom in this gym. <laughs> of course. You're, you're already battling. You're not waiting for me. I'm, I'm going to try and get in before... Uh, dang it. I'm going to air out right there because you did not wait for me. Watch this. That's a new glitch. That is uh, the glitch right now that we are working with. Okay, so there, as you can see, he's still battling. I have aired out because he beat a Pokemon before I could get into the battle. So, live look at one of the new glitches in Pokemon Go. As John continues to take down this gym, rather handedly, I might add. And uh, I'm just going to wait here in the darkness next to you. There's my guy. He's waiting for you to finish. Taking on Tangela now with a uh, Lugia. Quite a strong Lugia. Speaking of strong Lugias, I have been doing some powering up for the squad, which uh, we'll show right here. Switch it over to CP, maybe, if it decides to. And uh, you can now see in my top section of Pokemon a few new legendary Pokemon that were not on there before, uh, mainly being Entei at 2835 now, and Lugia coming in at 2921. And then Zapdos and Raikou, of course, still being there in the 2800s. And uh, going down a little bit of the ways are Mewtwo, which I have decided to start powering up recently. And then Articuno, a.k.a. Pahoki Squad. And, Mo and blah, 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 Moltres, a.k.a. KFC 69. And there's JJ Shiny. And uh, John is finishing up the battle. A Lugia at 22. Oh my god. Goodness! Holy cow! One bang. And, uh, I don't know. What, what are we putting in here, John? You could decide. Hmm. Put some well, dark... You put have, some dark uh, we could put some dark Pokemon. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, you, you have priority right now as the battle winner. Let me X out, and uh, I'll join you shortly. Dark type Pokemon. Hmm. What was that? Did you hear that noise? Did you hear it? It's behind us. <laughs> okay. We'll do this quickly. D A R K. Dark type. Come on. Um, Umbreon, you're going in. Not two dog types. Nice. There we go. Alright. We are now going to get out of here as soon as possible. See you guys later. All right, so we are actually here at the church now. It is obviously the next day after what was a very dark and kind of creepy ending last night. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly go through kind of a recap of yesterday. First of all, we did find a Growlithe nest uh, with John. We also went through a Sneasel nest earlier in the day. Uh, we managed to hatch quite a few eggs, including a Snubble, which was kind of interesting. Lots of Magikarp, which uh, still looking for a new shiny Magikarp. 
We're, here's the Sneasel Nest, and of course we did do a lot of the newer raids, including Magneton, Charmeleon, Marowak, Ivysaur, a Suicune, uh, another War Turtle, and uh, yeah, just kind of interesting kind of new raids, uh, which are pretty fun. And uh, unfortunately, we did have two rare spawns run away from us last night, including a Venusaur and a Snorlax, neither of which were caught on camera, unfortunately. Um, but we did also manage to get a ton of gems, of which we still actually have quite a few still at those gems, which is very cool. And it is very windy right now. So I'm going to retreat to the car for a moment. Just a moment. Um, and uh, so yeah, we actually figured out that there is a new cap to the amount of Pokemon you ha can defend in a gym at one time. And that is 20. You can have 20 Pokemon in gyms before it uh, lets you hit your cap, which John found out, and I was at, I think, 19 Pokemon at the end of the night. So, very cool, and uh, yeah, now we do have to go in for service, so, and uh, my phone is apparently running out of storage space at the same time, so perfect timing. Uh, so, if you did like the episode, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're enjoying the series, please subscribe, and as always, God bless, and see you for another episode of Pokemon Go!